it's B from Casually Fragrant. Today I'm doing a bit of a different video and I wanna go over how I store my travel size and roller balls. They're all kind of travel size sprays or roller balls in here. And I kind of wanted to go over it with you guys. I recently picked up this acrylic vase from Amazon actually. And I find it's just perfect for storing all of them. I had these in multiple different glasses and just like all over the place on my vanity. And so I definitely love the organization of this thing here. Before I get into all of these, and that's basically the organization part. If you wanna hear me talk about what is in here in my collection, then keep watching. Um, I just wanna mention there's a few fra um, travel kind of size things that I don't add in there. If the travel size is a little bit larger, like this here, uh, Salt Caramel, wonderful fragrance by Shea and Blue. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. Um, this is a bit larger, so I didn't put this in here. I kept the I kept this in my perfume cabinet, which if you wanna see me go over my perfume cabinet, I got it from Ikea, I absolutely love it. It's massive. It's gonna be a massive uh, like undertaking to film that, but if you wanna see my full perfume collection, let me know. And also here I have Hedonist by Victoria Minya in this kind of sample size. I actually got a few of them and they have these beautiful little crystal like beads in there. It's absolutely gorgeous and because it just looks like it's just a little bit extra special than anything else that I have in here with those beads. I like to display this um, in my cabinet as well. And I also want to do a shout out. I have a bunch of indie perfumes from Sacre Bay and Rollerball and some other indie perfumes. And I actually keep all my indie perfumes in a separate container, except for the full sizes. Those I do keep with all my perfumes. Um, I do have enough space for that. And if you want to see my indie perfume collection, please comment down below. The winter is long. I'm not really able to go out much due to COVID. So I definitely have a lot of time on my hands to do some filming for you guys. So now for this here, um, I'm just going to kind of pull in here and I thought I would go over what I have. So here I actually have two of the same. I know I'm so bad, but when I heard that commodity was going, was going bankrupt, I had to pick up um, one of these for myself. I, so I had to pick up an extra one, I should say, and I didn't get a full size. Um, and I'm, I'm not regretting it, but this is commodity gold. It is a beautiful vanilla. Stay tuned. I will be doing a vanilla favorites video soon. I absolutely love this one. And because it was going out, I can't remember if I actually bought this myself or got this as a gift, but I do have an extra one of these. Um, and I seem to be kind of saving it now that I know you, I don't think you can get this one anymore. Oops, it's gonna just, there's gonna be like a ton of things falling over here. Okay, and next I might as well do, this is actually a sample, it's from Balenciaga, Balenciaga. Okay, I really need to get better at pronunciation. Um, this here is um, their Eau de Parfum and it's, I just keep it here. It's like a large sample size that I got. So really like, I just, I don't want to keep it in there. I feel like it's too delicate. So I just keep it in its box in here. Otherwise I do usually take things in boxes. Um, here we have Bright Crystal by Versace. This is a rollerball. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I much prefer sprays than rollerballs. I really don't like rollerballs, but sometimes if I don't want a full size, it's better to get a rollerball, <laughs> a travel size here. So I really like this scent, it's really nice, and I find this is a really good gift idea and very mass, oops, mass appealing scent, Bright Crystal. I know a lot of people who have this as their signature scent and they absolutely love it. So there's that one. Um, I have a ton of the by Killian one. So that's let's sell this argument like adults in the bedroom naked. I have a Kissing Burns 6.4 calories a minute I wanna work out. I have fun always happens after sunset. Is that all of them? Yeah, I think so. I actually have the princess one, which is my absolute favorite one, but that I actually have in a full bottle. So I did get pick up these in the, and I sometimes have to check because I can't recall if they're rollerballs. These are sprays. Definitely love that they're sprays. Check these out. I think they actually come now in smaller discovery sets in Sephora as well. 
So I have some more samples. I actually got all three of these when I got my Bulgari um, full bottle and they gave me these um, sample sets. So this Desiria, Salima, and Nora. I don't know if these have been discontinued now or not. Um, I didn't love them enough to get the full bottle, but I'm really lucky that I had these beautiful sample sizes. Like, just absolutely gorgeous. We have here an Atelier Cologne. This is Love Os Memphis. Um, was everything with Atelier Cologne, the great thing about these is that you can layer them a lot. Um, I wasn't, I can't remember if I, I'm just gonna quickly smell that one. Yeah, wasn't a favorite, but I do like having it in my collection. I have the uh, Easy Loving Natural Selection Set from Zoologist, which includes Panda, McCabe, um, let's see if I can find the other ones, Nightingale, and Dragonfly. And as you can see, there's one missing, Hummingbird, which was my grandma's favorite. She absolutely loved it, so I gave it to her. <laughs> um, I'm totally now probably going to pick up that for myself as well again, just because I don't know. I like to want to have the collection and they're all sprays. The, this is, if you want to kind of dip your foot into high quality niche fragrances and they're still quite expensive for the travel size, but so worth it. This is a unisex scent. I do find that Nightingale and Hummingbird lean more feminine and on me, Panda and McKay lean more masculine, but definitely like unisex all the way. Anyone can wear any one of these um, as with all scents, but they're just done so well. And some of the zoologist scents can be quite powerful. I feel like if it's the first time you're smelling some niche fragrances, you might be put off potentially. Maybe not. I was, that's the, my experience. So I really suggest the Easy Lovings um, collection. And I will link down below my review of these. Uh, imagine the fifth one there. Um, and I was keeping these with my perfume fumes kind of in the cabinet, but they were kind of getting lost there. So I decided to keep them with all my sprays and travel sizes. And now we have some Juliet has a gun. So I have here sunny side up. This is a beautiful sandalwood fragrance. I absolutely love it. I should wear this one more often. <laughs> um, I think it's great for summer, but I actually think it would be great all year round. It really just smells like a luxurious, um, uh, sandalwood scent, really like, really like high quality fragrance. And these are all sprays. Love that. I also have Juliet has a gun vanilla vibes. Now, as I was saying, I'm going to have a video up of all my vanilla favorites. Vanilla vibes is not one of them. Unfortunately, I will probably give this to someone in my family because I know that they really like vanilla, but I'm holding on to it because I want to use it for the video. So I didn't want to get rid of it then and kind of a longer sample. This is not a perf, sorry about that. You don't see it. <laughs> this is Juliet um, has a gun not a perfume. Uh, not for me. I know a lot of people who absolutely love that. So, and this really lets me test out. And if I use up one of these travel size sprays, I throw it out. I don't keep it. And I had that mm, by Juliet has a gun and I bought the full size bottle. Love that fragrance, but these ones weren't enough loves to buy full size. Let's see here. Okay. We have, uh, by there's a lot used here and I don't think I use this much. I think this spilt. <laughs> <laughs> Full honesty. This is spray. This is Kat Von D's or KVD Beauty, I guess now. Um, Sinner. I thought I had Saint. Maybe it's, oh, there it is. So I do have Saint. So um, Saint and Sinner, her fragrances. Yeah, definitely. This ended up spilling. That's too bad. Something is going to smell a lot like this fragrance. And I don't remember where I spilled it. <laughs> I was going to discover some sweater in the closet somewhere. <laughs> um, Fresh Cream. Love this by Philosophy. It is like whipping cream. It's so creamy vanilla. Like absolutely gourmand scent. This is unfortunately a rollerball. And this, the um, whipped cream uh, body lotion of this is one of my favorite gourmand body lotions. It smells delicious. It's actually, I like it more than the perfume and I use it to layer for a lot of other things. Oh, we have another Italie cologne. This is Iris Rubble and I've reviewed this on my channel. Was not a fan. It's not sweet. 
Don't know why I still have this in my collection. Anyways, uh, I might have shown this to a few people and they didn't actually like it that much. But um, Atelier Cologne is great for layering. Um, so I did um, keep this. I might be doing more Atelier Cologne uh, reviews. So that's maybe why I've kept it. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, we have a newer scent. This is by Ellis Brooklyn Sweet. A very generic sweet scent. I don't mean to be saying generic in a bad way. I really like it, but um, it wasn't enough to buy a full bottle. I do have a review of this one as well. I will link down below where I have reviews if you're interested in hearing more about the fragrance. Uh, this is, this I thought was a very interesting bottle um, or travel size shape. This is Fleur and uh, Sandera. Once again, I do have a review of this one and it almost looks like a white marble porcelain. It's not porcelain. It's more of like a white marble type of matte, almost like satiny finish. And it's um, really unique, I think, in kind of the, the way it looks. So that's Fleur. This is, I forget the name of this one. I want to say Cobalt Blue. I can't remember what this, oh, this is Volcano. Yeah, Capre Blue uh, Volcano. I, this is from Sephora, but there is a candle that Anthropology puts out that, and you might be able to get that on Sephora now too, that's called Volcano. And I absolutely love, love, love the scent of that candle. But, and the bottle's so beautiful, like sapphire, like a deep blue. But the scent, like it's something like I'd almost use this as a room spray, which reminds me, I should probably move this into the bathroom or something. <laughs> uh, I probably won't be wearing that one as much myself. I have here... Oh, let's, okay, so I also buy decants online. There's a lot of uh, Facebook fragrance groups and community groups that I'm a part of. And so sometimes you can't purchase niche fragrances in travel size or decant size. So it's been really great to purchase from the community. And so here is Side Effect by Initio. And this is such a sexy, deep scent. I'm actually gonna wear it right now. I think that's good. It's, oh my gosh. Perfect for winter, cooler weather. I wore this uh, in Vegas in the winter time. Yeah, it's a bit hotter in Vegas still, but it was winter <laughs> and like a nighttime scent, 100%. So, so sexy, beautiful scent. Highly recommend that one. Um, this I actually purchased for my husband to try it out because I was going to buy him the full bottle and he didn't like it. This is, um, Comme des Garçons Concrete. The bottle's really cool looking. It's a very fresh and bright scent. And to him, he actually thought it leaned a bit too feminine, even though it is a unisex scent. So he's not wearing it. So it's back in my collection. I quite like it. I might start wearing it next spring and summer. Um, I love violet fragrances. This is Venetian Violent from Crabtree and Evelyn. Um, this has been discontinued. Sorry, you can't get it anymore. It's absolutely like, I love this uh, scent. I had the body lotion, the shower gel, everything, but it's discontinued now. So I still keep this here um, uh, when I can wear it. Let's do some lucky scent. So I was lucky enough <laughs> to receive these as gifts from Lucky Scent for my review. I've reviewed a number of them on my channel. They don't ship to Canada. So I actually live in Canada. And so I don't think you can actually get these as of when I'm filming this. I know that they had said in the past, they're looking into shipping international. They are a US based company. It's a perfume subscription service. And I'm sure you've heard about them on other YouTube channels. I actually really, really love how they have these um, bottles and they keep all the perfumes in here. And I've been really lucky with some amazing niche scents. And I like if they subscribe, if they were available in Canada, I would subscribe like absolutely love it. Um, so that's scent bird. This one is fragile violet um, and great violet scent. Once again, I love violet fragrances, so can't go wrong with that. We have in this one here, Moscow Muyo by Juliet has a gun. Love this perfect party scent. Um, was really glad that I was gifted that to review. Love that scent. 
And I love the different colors. These are like perfect. And I feel like they're very safe in your um, uh, purse as well. And they come full. A lot of these I've actually been using already. This is Montal's Chocolate Greedy. If you like chocolate scents, check out Chocolate Greedy by Montel. Very, very realistic chocolate scent. Um, here we have Raja's uh, Elixir Pour Femme. This is for women elixir and it's like, this is such an expensive fragrance. It's made in, the, all of the Raja fragrances are quite expensive. And um, so to be able to get, have a sample of that, I, I'm really, um, really like the fact that you can sample that out first. And I, I do like that scent. My husband's not, that's not his favorite. So I don't think I'll be buying that in a full size. And this here is Amouage Honor Woman. Um... I don't really like it. I have to be honest. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I'm kind of keeping it to try it. Keep. I feel like, you know how you sometimes have something and you're like, no, I will like it. <laughs> it's too expensive not to like. It's too high quality not to like. I will like it. So I feel like that's this one here. Um, so maybe one day I'll turn back to it and be like, oh, I like it now. <laughs> um, and Violet by Molinard. Another Violet. Hmm, there's a trend here. It's everything is sweet, gourmand, or Violet. That's basically my whole collection. <laughs> Um, and if, and if, if it's not that, then you'll see that I probably don't use it that often. <laughs> so I have a bunch of Nest fragrances and I actually have uh, a bunch of the minis and I collect, I, I have those displayed up as my minis. And so this one was a bit larger. It's Cocoa Woods. It's a newer scent and some people love it. I didn't give the best review of this one for myself. And a lot of people in the comments said to try it again, to really like look into it, that it really is a great chocolate scent. So I have tried it a few more times and I probably do like it a bit more than what I indicated on my review, but I just don't reach for it. I have other chocolate scents that I reach for way more than this one. So there is Angel Muse by Moogler. Love this scent. Now, I don't know what it is, but I feel like I'm allergic to this one fragrance. <laughs> and it's just this one fragrance. And I have like hundreds, which is very embarrassing, but I have sampled hundreds and I probably have over a hundred fragrances. <laughs> uh, I do, it's very embarrassing. But um, whenever I wear this, I seem to get a stuffed nose. And so there must be something in here. It's a beautiful hazelnut. I, I'm not allergic to hazelnuts or Nutella by any means. <laughs> Uh, and this is, so it's an absolutely gorgeous scent and I was wearing it a lot and then I was thinking of buying the full bottle and then I just didn't because I think I'm allergic to it. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I have to probably sample a little bit more. Um, oh, we have another Atelier Cologne. This is Orange Sanguine and this layers really well with vanilla fragrances, especially the Atelier Cologne vanilla incense one that they have. And then you smell like a creamsicle. It's great. <laughs> um, so I do like that I kind of have, I just have a tiny little bit left here. Uh, so I've used up a lot of it. I don't think I'm going to purchase a full size. I'm not the biggest fan of layering fragrances myself. I kind of just want to like spray one and go and not think about layering it. And then I know that I would like layer it and make the perfect combination. And then the next time I wear it, I would probably be like, did I do two sprays of that one? Or I don't know. So I'm not the biggest on layering. Let me know down below if you layer your scents and how you do that. Um, and here we have Black Phantom by Killian. I originally got this sample to tempt my husband into buying the beautiful, and I will insert a photo here, of the bottle of Black Phantom. And he does not want to wear this. So I've been wearing it. <laughs> um, I absolutely love it. And I am very tempted to get the actual full size, not only for the presentation, but it is a very beautiful, dark scent. I think there's some coffee and chocolate if I am could be mistaken on that, but I just, there's something about it, very intoxicating scent. So I have here, this actually, when I purchased uh, Confetto by Perfumaroma, um, it came with this little travel size thing here, and it's a little roller ball, and you can fill it yourself with the actual perfume, and how, how amazing is it when you get a uh, kind of sample like this. Confetto, it was, I probably reviewed that really early on in my channel. So if you watch that video, I did realize in my earlier videos, I am much more monotone. So I try not to do that anymore, but I absolutely love this scent. It is an almond, delicious gourmand. And in my point of view, it's better than hypnotic poison. Feel free to disagree with me in the comments. <laughs> um, they're often compared to one another. 
Um, here is a travel spray. Um, this here is Mukalat by, I think this is Montel, and it's a strawberry scent, and I think it's leaking. So I'm going to put it back because I can see already back there. It's, I think it's leaky. So um, a great strawberry scent. I never wanted to get the full size, so I just have the travel size. I'm going to put that back in there. <laughs> and then we have um, Salt Air by Skylar. This is a newer scent. I reviewed it recently on my channel. It's a very, like, salty, fresh fragrance. Definitely unisex. It's an eau de toilette, but I think it's a great made scent. This here is a rollerball. And I'm sorry, I haven't been exactly showing you if they're sprays or rollerballs. And I know like it really matters. So the Italy colognes are sprays, but it really matters to me. So I always try to show that. Oh, and the Nest one, did I show? Yeah, that is a rollerball. But I realize they sometimes change it. So what is a rollerball now might actually become a spray later. And then I have my replica ones. Or um, I should say my Maison Martin Margiela replica. So this here is Beach Walk. I mostly got this to do a review on it and to kind of sample it out. And I've since gotten a mini for it. So I wish I hadn't gotten this. I kind of started to wear it a little bit one summer and then I stopped. I feel like I have better. I, I reach for other scents that I prefer. But this is a great uh, summer scent and a lot of people really like it. Uh, then we have Under the Lemon Tree. It's Under the Lemon Trees. It's a newer citrusy scent by Replica. And always the name of whatever it is is quite telling of what the fragrance is like. We have Springtime in the Park, a beautiful soft floral. It didn't wow well me enough to really, like, I kind of only worn it a little bit. I haven't really worn it much. And then we have Coffee Break by um this is smells it's not very strong coffee i was surprised i thought it would be a stronger coffee so that is all my pile <laughs> my pile of oops <laughs> drop the camera back here my pile of travel sized fragrances let me know if you like these longer videos of me just rambling on about my perfume collection. It's actually kind of fun to go through it actually every now and then. I'm not going to lie because I feel like once you kind of put them somewhere, you don't really um, uh, use them as much. And I found because I got this clear acrylic container, I've been reaching for them more and I actually can like see them much more easier as how I had them displayed before. And if you have a um, any suggestions for how you display your rollerballs, I'd love to hear other ones. Um, one day I might want to get a more ornate thing, not just this acrylic thing, but so far this kind of works for me. And if I mentioned any of your favorite scents, please post them down below. I always want to hear from you guys in the comments. So thank you so much for watching. And if you like my video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.